Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has become the first sitting Chief Minister in independent India to be arrested by a central agency. He was arrested by the Enforcement Directorate after two hours of questioning in connection with the alleged Delhi liquor policy scam case. Remember, this happened at Mr. Kejriwal's residence in the national capital. The ED reached there with a search warrant and then started questioning Mr. Kejriwal. After uh, two hours of questioning, Arvind Kejriwal was arrested and has been brought to the Enforcement Directorate office. He is currently in custody and uh, will be produced in the court tomorrow, uh, in fact on Friday. And uh, uh, earlier this evening, a 12-member Enforcement Directorate team landed at Mr. Kejriwal's residence with a search warrant. Remember, Arvind Kejriwal so far has dodged nine summons uh, by the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, today, his arrest came just hours after the High Court denied him interim protection in the same case. So let me very quickly at this moment go across to my colleagues, those who have been reporting continuously uh, on this story for the last few hours. Uh, Vedant Agarwal joins us from outside the residence of the Chief Minister, where uh, the Ahmadni Party, in fact, was protesting this a short while back. Aishwarya, my colleagues, is also at the Enforcement Directorate office. Aishwarya, coming to you first. Arvind Kejriwal is uh, inside the Enforcement Directorate. What now happens? I mean, how will his night be at the, in, in ED's custody and what will happen in the morning? Well, as I said, uh, currently in the international capital, Enforcement Directorate Headquarters remains the most sensitive location because Aam Aadmi Party on one side had uh, called for massive mobilization of Aam Aadmi Party cadres. We have seen huge protests outside Arvind Kejriwal's residence when he uh, was arrested uh, by the ED officials and uh, protests taking place at uh, different locations as well. Now, tomorrow, what we are hearing from Aam Aadmi Party is that uh, massive protest also planned uh, at around 10 a.m. when we have been told Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before the court. Now, one thing that happened soon after Arvind Kejriwal was produced uh, or, or brought at the Enforcement Director Headquarters is that a team of RML Hospital, uh, a team of doctors have been called and uh, the medical examination of Arvind Kejriwal was done. Uh, post that, he would be kept at the lockup, which is at the ground floor of Enforcement Director Headquarters. A lot of movement still happening at the ED headquarters. Uh, all those officials who came along with Arvind Kejriwal uh, from his residence now leaving after that uh, formality or, or the paperwork that needs to be done. Apart from it, uh, after uh, spending a night over here, Mr. Kejriwal tomorrow would be again undergoing a medical examination. Uh, our, a team of RML hospital will be called tomorrow morning as well. And after that, he will be produced before the court where Enforcement Directorate will seek further custody of Mr. Kejriwal because uh, ED officials have stated that they need to confront K. Kavita with uh, different Amadmi Party leaders who were under arrest uh, a uh, few months or years back and also now Arvind Kejriwal who had a fresh uh, arrest uh, being made by Enforcement Directorate. Uh, so on one side uh, also there will be developments in the courts as Aam Aadmi Party will be looking forward for some sort of relief from the Supreme Court as they will approach tomorrow morning because tonight the, uh, the, the hearing uh, uh, was, would, uh, was not uh, uh, given permission by the Chief Justice of India although Aam Aadmi Party reached out to the Supreme Court Registrar. Uh, but on the other side, it would be uh, the Rouse Avenue Court where Arvind Kejriwal will be uh, take, uh, will be produced physically or it could be virtually as well, looking at the law and order situation. Uh, and tomorrow morning, uh, uh, it would be Arvind Kejriwal who would be appearing in front of the court where uh, uh, Enforcement Directorate will seek further custody. Uh, now, uh, this all come after a setback by Delhi High Court today. Uh, that Arvind Kejriwal did not got any interim relief as far as uh, what Arvind Kejriwal demanded that he uh, should not be very uh, at very earliest arrested or right. he should not uh, uh, and, and therefore the reason perhaps after refusing nine summons Arvind Kejriwal uh, today uh, got arrested so uh, all uh, uh, you know, uh, major, okay. major deployment of Delhi police currently at the ED uh, uh, headquarters over here. Vedant, you know, uh, more or less, the last few months, it was expected that uh, Mr. Kejriwal uh, would be arrested. There, this was in the offing. 
uh, the Aam Aadmi Party time and again kept saying that uh, this is imminent. Uh, for this imminent arrest, what is the plan that the Aam Aadmi Party has been able to draw? Because Mr. Kejriwal is not only their chief, but the main face uh, uh, for the party, their main vote catcher ahead of the Lok Sabha elections, the main campaigner is now behind bars. Absolutely, Ankit. Before I come to that, let me show you these visuals here right outside the Chief Minister's residence in Delhi. Uh, you know, there's still heavy deployment of senior police officials, paramilitary forces, CRPF, Javans, Rapid Action Forces, all continue to sort of man the entrance uh, of the Chief Minister's residence, anticipating protests. Uh, and the immediate fallout, of course, is going to be uh, the, uh, the massive protest that the Ahmadi Party has planned. All Karikartas of the party across Delhi, from, you know, councillors to party workers to karikartas to uh, to senior leaders all of them have been asked to uh, to to gather at the ITO office of the Ahmadi party and all cabinet ministers will be present there too because the immediate challenge is to keep the cadre together because remember there's a crucial time uh, this is the lok sabha polls you know the, the run up to the po lok sabha polls and they have to keep their the morale of their cadre uh, cadre high across states because remember the Ahmadi party in the last couple of months has tried to expand to newer states whether it was haryana where it sort of pitched to fight the assembly polls alone uh, in Punjab, of course, even in Goa for that matter, Madhya Pradesh, where the, where the Ahmadi party sort of uh, contested on almost all seats as far as the assembly polls are concerned. And as you said, uh, you know, Arvind Kejival was their sort of mainstay, was, uh, was this, uh, the, the fulcrum of the Aam Aadmi Party. And sort of very look, uh, quickly looking at how the dynamics have played out in the past couple of months, Arvind Kejival, as I said earlier as well, has uh, sort of very strategically transferred all his portfolios uh, to, uh, and even portfolios, those of, uh, you know, uh, Manish Sisodia and Satyendar Jain uh, to uh, Atishi and Saurabh Bharadwaj. In fact, remember, uh, uh, Arvind Kejriwal had not taken away the portfolios of Satyendra Jain and Manish Sisodia uh, till a, for a very long time uh, until Manish Sisodia was arrested and you know their portfolios were transferred to Atishi and Saurabh Bharadwaj. Now, they are going to be shouldering the responsibility of not just the administration here in the national capital but also sort of their, their campaign as well. Of course, Bhagwant Maan happens to be now the, the sort of main campaigner of the Aam Aadmi Party who has accompanied Arvind Kejriwal in all, uh, all state campaigns. And you said that you know Aam Aadmi the party, of course, continues to say that Arvind Kejriwal will stay on as a chief minister. That is a political statement to make. But the Ahmadi Party's legal team, I can tell you for certain, has been constantly working on this, not, not just for the, for the past one month or so, but for the past couple of months to sort of iron out uh, their, their, their strategy. And they will, of course, the Supreme Court hearing on Friday is critical because the Ahmadi Party hopes for a relief there throughout the night, throughout the evening today. Mm -hmm. Ankit, uh, they've been in touch with their legal team. The legal team reached the Supreme Court registrar's office, uh, the residence as well. So Friday is going to be crucial. Massive protests planned. Arvind Kejriwal will be produced before the Rao's Avenue Court and that key Supreme Court hearing likely as well. Right. Uh, before I let both of you go, uh, Ashwara, very quickly, when the ED takes Mr. Kejriwal tomorrow to the Rao's Avenue Court, uh, what will be largely the argument that they will present uh, so that they can get custody uh, for Mr. Kejriwal? Well, from Arvind Kejriwal's residence, uh, uh, the gadgets that Arvind Kejriwal had used, uh, those data had been dumped by our Enforcement Directorate and also the statements that have been recorded earlier by Enforcement Directorate uh, of the accused uh, uh, in the alleged uh, Delhi liquor policy case, those statements needs to be uh, confronted and also those people who had been arrested including K. Kaveta very recently uh, as Enforcement Directorate uh, had also uh, stated uh, before the court uh, when uh, K. Kaveta was produced that uh, K. Kaveta had to be be confronted with several uh, of the accused in this case and uh, that needs to be done with uh, Arvind Kejriwal as well because the allegations uh, that have been leveled uh, by the Enforcement Directorate that Arvind Kejriwal was present in those meetings which took place at his residence and he knew all about uh, the policy making at that point of time. So the confrontation process and uh, the record uh, recording of uh, statements needs to be done and therefore the reason para 
perhaps enforcement directorate can seek seven days uh, custody of Arvind Kejriwal. That's also the sources within the enforcement directorate clearly telling us at this moment. Uh, so, uh, in all likelihood, more custody of Arvind Kejriwal with the confrontation uh, with other accused who had been arrested earlier is something that would be the future course of action. Uh, but as of now, it would be uh, tomorrow morning uh, when uh, the entire route from enforcement director headquarters to Rouse Avenue Code uh, would be very sensitive because on that very uh, that very uh, uh, way uh, it leads to Dindya Lopadhyay Marg, right. uh, where uh, Aam Aadmi Party headquarters also is, and uh, that remains very very sensitive. Location and that is well. where Vedant very quickly uh, that the Aam Aadmi Party has asked all its supporters, MLAs, ministers to gather at 10 a.m. tomorrow. So Deen Dayal Upadhyay Mark tomorrow could become the latest confrontation point uh, between the Aam Aadmi Party, the Delhi police. Uh, also interestingly, Vedant, while you were reporting and you mentioned, uh, we saw those uh, sound bites as well, uh, the arrest of the chief minister. Interestingly, the Congress was the first to complain in this case, but at this moment, standing behind shoulder to shoulder with the Aam Aadmi Party. Absolutely, Ankit. A show of uh, strength and show of solidarity there. Of course, you had uh, Arvinder Lovely here and Sandeep Dikshit, all the senior leaders of the Congress present here, uh, standing right beside Atishi and Saurabh as they sort of uh, try to uh, uh, keep the morale high of the workers. And yes, Deen Dayal Upadhyay is going to be a major sort of point of confrontation tomorrow, as it has in the past as well, because remember that is where the BJP headquarters also are, just a, a sort of uh, very close to that is the Aam Party headquarters. So it is going to be, we are going to see some sort of uh, sk uh, skirmishes and scuffle tomorrow because today also remember uh, all those supporters of the Armani party were dragged away by the police and they, they were all sort of taken to the nearest uh, thanas so tomorrow the protests are going to be massive because the Armani party also has to made a point and uh, this is also a, a sort of an agenda setting for uh, the the upcoming Lok Sabha polls Ankit. could this become one of the galvanizing factor for the india alliance in fact to rise above their own uh, political differences that uh, only time will tell, but a crucial day for the Aam Aadmi Party for its chief uh, Arvind Kejriwal. Vedant Ashwarya, thank you for continuously reporting on this story and keeping the viewers of NDTV ahead with the latest updates.